I'm realizing that everyone needs to be able to express themselves. This is not a luxury, this is an absolute necessity. This is not one of those videos where I give answers to the questions asked of me, but this is one of those videos where I don't have an answer and want to ask you guys a question. Specifically in regards to dealing with resentment. As many of you guys have watched my older content or know my past history here on YouTube with my transition from a evangelical Christian to a deist to now a atheist, I dealt and I was indoctrinated within religion. I grew up in a Christian household. I go, went to a Christian church, very, very um, religious church, Baptist denomination, and I was taught a lot of different things which I no longer believe. I believed in a lot of lies regarding the church, regarding people. You know, I was taught that my aplomb was rooted in Christ Jesus, that I could not have any value as a person, that I could not love myself, that I couldn't do any good unless I had a relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, lots of little things like that that I believed for the majority of my life up until my later teen years between the ages of 15. 15 is where I started questioning everything. 16 is where I started going through some very difficult traumatic stuff. 17 was when I couldn't deal with it anymore, and 18 is when I nearly took my life due to the fact of religion. In any case, I have a lot of resentment towards religion, um, and rightfully so, with a lot of the people who hurt me within the church, and I acknowledge that. Um, in some of my videos, I do come across as very aggressive regards to religion, but rightfully so, because I've been very, very hurt towards it. And it's still a process that is taking a lot of time for me to deal with I mean, I'm always going to be critical of religion, but my aggressiveness that does stand out is due to my past, and I realize that because, again, I have a lot of resentment. Dealing with resentment. How do I deal with resentment? Well, I don't exactly know. Um, that's kind of why I'm making this video, because as of late, I've been dealing with more resentment than usual. Uh, more specifically, I uh, in summer of last year, and I want to make this very, very vague, I was hurt by a friend of mine very, very, very much, much, a lot, and that was a bad sentence structure or phrase. I was hurt by this person. Basically, to summarize it, um, I was interested in a girl, um, and for like two to three months, I really invested my time into her. I invested my time, my money, um, my emotions, my just everything I invested into this person because I thought this person was single. Um, they gave that impression anyway, that they were single. Um, they, they, they received what I gave to them. We hung out and did lots of fun activities together. Um, and then eventually I got to the point where I said, you know, I really like this girl. She's attractive. She's intelligent. She's smart. We have a lot of common interests. So I'm going to ask her out. I want to actually date this person. You know, we're, we've been great friends for this amount of time. I want to ask her out. So that's what I did. I asked her out and she said, you know, I think we should wait and just be friends for right now because that's what I want to be, just be friends. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, no big deal. And then several months later, I find out literally by sitting her down and I'm almost to an extent interrogating her. I'm like, there's something that you're not telling me. It's very, very clear. And all this time that I had been investing into her, thinking that she was single, spending money on her, I find out that she had a boyfriend. And she probably would not have told me that she had a boyfriend if it hadn't been for me trying to hammer an answer out of her on the spot. And I was very, very hurt by that. And to this day, what, nine, ten months later, hasn't even been a year since last uh, summer of 2013, but I'm dealing with a lot of resentment regarding that friendship that I have to an extent of where I'm almost wanting just to not ever talk to this person again, disassociate with them completely, which I know probably is not the best thing because I have a problem of, have, of struggling to express myself in regards to pain. I express myself all the time through my YouTube videos. I know I talk about heavy subjects, but it's very rare for me to be able to express the pain that I'm feeling to the people who have hurt me. And whether that be um, intentionally uh, or not, or accidentally, I have a flaw of where I like to build everything up and it builds and builds and builds and builds and builds to a point of where, <clears throat> excuse me, of where my resentment actually turns into anger and bitterness. Um, bitterness to the point of where then I will cut contact with that person and I will never associate with that person again because it's too painful, painful for me to deal with. 
And I see this. It's a huge character flaw that I have, and I don't know how to deal with it. I don't. And maybe that's a smash to my pride that I don't have an answer. Because, you know, I make videos all the time giving people answers, but when it comes to my personal life and things that I deal with on a regular basis, I don't know how to deal with things. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> I didn't, I did, I'm sorry, fuck. I didn't expect to cry in this video. But... How do you deal with resentment? <laughs> because it's just been building up over the past few years, years with me. It's just been building and building, and I don't know how to deal with it. And it's, in a way, it's eating me up. It is, I almost want to say, mentally crippling me to an extent that I know it's, it's unhealthy. But I don't know how to tackle it. Again, this is like a slap to my pride because, you know, I'm known as this person on YouTube who has everything together. You know, I come across as this person who has all of the answers. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't. I don't have all the answers to everybody's problems. Um, Jesus. Uh, I'm going to regret uploading this video, but... Um, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but then, I shouldn't really be apologizing to a camera for how I feel, should I? Or to people. That's the one thing I've realized about myself, or anybody, is that you should not apologize for how you feel. Don't do it. But I just did it, so fuck that. I mean, my guess for a lot of the resentment that I have is due to my reluctance and hesitance of expressing deep pain that I have. It's one thing to, you know, say, hey, you know, what you did bothered me, or I didn't like what you did, but it's a completely other thing when you get hurt deeply by someone that you trusted. And this this just goes for friendships and relationships, but deep down I know it's more of a rooted also in religion that a lot of the things that happened to me years ago, I'm still, I'm still going through. Um, it's still an ongoing struggle. But I don't showcase it to people. You know, I don't talk about it to people. Very rarely um, do I get the chance because I have a very, very big trust issue with people. And that's part of my past. Um, I've been betrayed a lot by people. And because of that, I don't know how to deal with the resentment that I have because I can't physically trust the person because I don't know that if I open up to the person how they're going to respond to that because I don't trust them to begin with and are they going to use that resentment or what I express to them in a negative way to use it against me. So again, as I said in the start of this video, this is not a video where I answer your questions. More or less, I'm looking for an answer. How do you guys, out of the 200,000 people who watch me here on YouTube, there's has to be someone who has an answer to this. How do you deal with resentment that's been building up over the course of several years? And I almost wonder if there's different types of resentment because I have resentment from the religion and then I have resentment from being hurt and betrayed by people who I thought I could trust. And then I find out, you know, my most recent event, oh, she has a boyfriend and I've invested all this time and money into her and she basically kept it a secret from me. And I don't know if that's the same type of resentment, but it's religion resentment, relationship resentment, I don't know. Um, again, I'm going to end this video now because I'm already embarrassed just by having emotional uh, crying in front of a camera, which is uh, slapping to my, my pride, I guess. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching again. Um... Happy Monday. <laughs> Mondays are always the best day of the week, right? Uh, tonight at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, I will be doing a live stream. So on my Twitch TV, it's linked down below. Hope to see you guys there. Peace out.